Welcome back. Today we're going to create a forest archery game, but with a difference. In this one, you have to hit a moving target. The first thing we're going to do is bring in our stage backdrop. So clicking the Upload Backdrop from File button, I select the Woods picture. Let's delete that first background, so we've just got Woods to focus on. We're now going to bring in two sprites that our program will use. So I'm going to get rid of Scratch Cat. Clicking on Upload Sprite from File. The first is the site for our bow and the second is the target. Now we're going to program our sprites with scripts. So starting with the target and looking at my algorithm, my program plan, I'm going to program how to move it. So when the flag is clicked, repeat forever. So as soon as the flag's clicked, start repeating and we're going to move it. We're going to make it glide so you'll see it as it's moving. And we're going to make it glide to a random position. So on the x-axis, that will be from negative 240 to positive 240. And on the y-axis, that's going to be from negative 180 to positive 180. So when the green flag is clicked, our target is going to, every one second, glide to a new random location on the screen. Let's see if that works. OK. Moving on to the site and looking at my algorithm, when the green flag is clicked, this sprite should continually repeat and it's going to go to wherever the mouse pointer is. Now, if the mouse is down, then we want to add one to a score variable. So let's make a variable. We'll call it score. And remember, clicking the tick at the side of the variable allows you to show or hide the variable on the screen. By double clicking the variable display on the stage, you can change it to displaying just its value, to a slider where you can change its value, or to display the variable name with its value. And I think that's what we want. We're going to change the score by one. We're then going to play a sound and pop, I think, is the one we want. And we'll say hit for half a second. But importantly, we only want to do all of this if the site is touching the target when the mouse is down. So looking at my algorithm, I have another if, an if inside an if, that's called a nested if. If when the mouse is down, if I'm touching the target, then do all of that. Now test the game. And as you can see, I'm not very good at this. I'm sure you'll be much better but there we have a working forest archery game with two sprites and a small amount of programming. Enjoy the game and try the additional tasks to make it more interesting.